Okay, everybody, this is what you're going to need to make the Pepper Jack crock pot chicken. This is so good and so easy. So I use all this chicken breast. I got the boneless, skinless chicken breast. And let's see, how many pounds did I end up getting? 2.87. So just a big pack of chicken breast. Just depends on how big your family is, but we already have a family of six, so... I'll use this whole pack. You're going to need a whole bell pepper, some mushrooms, and then a little bit of cumin, some garlic powder, the onion powder, and then of course your salt and your pepper. And this is what you're gonna need at first to put everything in. And then right before it's done, about 20 minutes before the chicken is done, you're gonna lay your cheese on top of the chicken so it melts. So I'll go ahead and prep everything up and then we will get started. Also, Kasori is doing a giveaway, so I wanted to make sure to mention that. They're so starting today on their Facebook page, October the 22nd. What they're giving away is one of their new products. It's a coffee warmer with cups. So that's kind of cool. You can make coffee, tea, or hot cocoa in the coming winter. So I'll leave that information down below just in case you do have a Facebook and you wanted to go and enter in their giveaway. So let me go ahead and prep everything up and then I'll show you how simple and easy this recipe really is. So all we're gonna do is lay our chicken on the bottom of the crock pot. So we're just gonna lay it down like so. I'm going to do a tablespoon of onion powder. A tablespoon of garlic powder. We're going to do two tablespoons of cumin. We're going to add in a little bit of pepper, some salt. What we're going to do after that is we're just going to pour in our mushrooms on top. like that. Then we're going to add our bell pepper on top of that. Now you can make it littler. I've kind of chopped them up into bigger or you can you can kind of do however you want. We like them a little big. So on top of this you're just going to add just a tiny bit more pepper. And then a little bit more salt on the top of it. Then we're going to go ahead and place our lid on. For a regular slow cooker, if you're going to be out all day, you want to put it on low to about four to six hours. If you are a little bit in a hurry and you want it done a little bit faster, I usually put mine on high and high for four hours. So that's where I set it. So I went over here to the slow cooker function. It's got the low, the medium, and high. And here's the digital, so it says cook for four hours. And then all I'm gonna do is press the start. And then there we go. So then 30 minutes right before it's about ready to be done, I'm gonna start and put the cheese on top of it and then cook it another 30 minutes. That way all the cheese is nice and gooey and runny and melty and oh my goodness. Now if you don't like pepper jack cheese, you definitely can do different cheese. Our family loves pepper jack cheese, but you could Swiss cheese would probably be really good too on here, but this is such a yummy, good recipe, low carb, healthy. I don't put any butter, no nothing, so it's nice and healthy. So 
I will see you guys in about three and a half hours. All right, you guys, it's almost done. Woo! That's what it looks like. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pepper jack cheese and I'm gonna lay all the cheese on top of the chicken. It smells so good in here. So I'm just gonna layer it on top of the chicken. So I've layered all my cheese on the chicken and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cover it and we're gonna cook it for another 30 minutes and it should be done. Okay, you guys, it is done. Look at that. I wish you guys can smell it. It smells so good. So let me go ahead and plate this up, but I tell you what, oh my goodness. This is so good. As you guys, it's definitely yummy. A big family favorite. Don't forget to go onto their Facebook page if you're interested in their giveaway. And if you like cooking videos, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscription button on the way out. And until next time, you guys, bye.